Midlife just got uh, photographs of Tiger. Now it's coming over here to get photographs of another oh, star. Right. Steven, all right. Now we hit from the goal, okay? Yes. All right. For the next two and a half months, 20-year-old Stephen Jones and his father, Steve, will spend a lot of time on the green. Because I like the hip hop in the very. There you go. The Joneses are a competitive father-son Special Olympics golf team. Hooray! Good shot. All right. Golf is one sport that it doesn't matter what your age or your ability is. You can, you can always compete. That's right. And we enjoy doing it together. That was a good putt. They're preparing for the November state-level fall games in High Point. In their division, they alternate hitting the ball from the tee into the hole. Right. And since 2009, so, they've captured so. either gold or They're silver. Ready. All right, let me get the ball, I'll get the flag. Steven is not very social, and Special Olympics has given him an opportunity to expand in that area. Uh, he enjoys the competition, he's very competitive. Special Olympics for Scythe County wants to help others join the competition and discover their athletic talents. For the athletes, it's a chance for them to showcase their talents in sports and show the community that they are capable and what they are capable of. For the families, it's that opportunity to see their child or their loved one excel in something. And then for the community, it's a way to get involved service-wise. Um, it's a way to open their eyes to um, people with disabilities and what they can do. On August 29th, the group will host a sports fair at Gateway YWCA. Potential athletes and their families will learn about the range of competitive fields. They will be able to fill out a Special Olympics athlete participation form. And potential athletes can get a free health assessment. And we're going to do height, weight, BMI, and vision screening, hearing screening, um, blood pressure, temperature, and then they'll get a basic physical examination from a doctor, a PA, or a nurse practitioner. Activities and screenings run from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Kaiser believes combining a sports fair with free medical services offers another benefit. We're hoping to also um, hook up these athletes with health care providers if they don't have one already. The Special Olympics Sports Fair is Saturday, August 29th at the Gateway YWCA on 1300 South Main Street in Winston-Salem. Meanwhile, Stephen is focused. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, no. For another <laughs> winning perfect. season with his dad. That was perfect. Okay, you can tap it in. Okay, excellent. And practice makes perfect. All right, that's good. Catherine Mobley, WSTV Digital Media.